Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. Today we're gonna uncrate the Scorpion Exo Vortex Air. Before we jump in and tell you about these Vortex Air Gloves from Scorpion, go ahead and subscribe for me. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a set of these Vortex Air Gloves from us here at speedaddicts.com, well, hey, we'd appreciate that as well. There's a link in the description below to shop for these gloves or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. I like these gloves a lot. So this is a warm weather glove with mesh on the back, goat skin leather palm. So it's gonna flow a lot of air. It's got a fair amount of armor uh, without going overboard. So these have like a nice subtle look to them. If you want more protection than what you're gonna get in this, this Vortex Air, you really gotta step up into more of a hyper sport glove. And those types of gloves tend to look very racy. So. This glove, uh, on the other hand, the Vortex Air, is at home on pretty much any type of machine you might jump on. So, you know, it's it's stealth enough to get on a V-Twin, but you can also wear it on a sport bike, and it's gonna flow a ton of air. The price tag ain't bad either. So they're gonna run you $59 for the Vortex Air. You're gonna see sizes small all the way up to 3X. Ooh, let's back up and talk about colors. There are different colorways. This is like the gray and black colorway, but they have a bunch of different ones. This is the most popular, of course. So sizes, we got small all the way up through three extra large. What are you gonna measure for a scorpion glove? You're gonna get a circumference measurement of your palm and go by that scorpion sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. Scorpion gloves in general run very true to size. This Vortex Air is no exception. I'm nine inch circumference and that recommends the extra large for me, which is what I have on here and it is an excellent fit right out of the packaging. When it comes to gloves, I do recommend just being a bit on the snug side is not gonna hurt you, especially when you do have goat skin leather that tends to stretch and break in quite nicely. So don't be too worried if you got a little bit of uh, tightness out of the package, cause that is going to give a bit. So go buy that sizing chart. You shouldn't have any issues, but in case you do, if you buy your gear from Speed Addicts, you're gonna qualify for no cost returns. That's right. Unlike those other guys, we don't charge you for return shipping as long as you live in the lower 48 states and the gear is brand new in the original packaging, you'll be able to get a free return label in just a few clicks over at speedaddicts.com. Give us a shot, we'll make sure to treat you like family. Okay, let's do the deep dive on the Vortex Air gloves. So on the back side, you do have perforated leather. So this gray section, this is all bovine leather that is perforated so you still get airflow even through that genuine leather material. The rest of it is a nylon mesh so you got a nice open weave here with foam padding across those top digits. In between that leather and the nylon, you're gonna get a little stretch panel across your knuckles. They are pre-curved and pre-stretched uh, just right out of the package. So they do flex nice and easy. As you move to the back of the glove, you do notice that this is a hard um, carbon fiber knuckle protector. So I've seen a lot of carbon fiber knuckle protectors that are just um, a screen print. This is actually real carbon fiber, which is cool. Uh, it makes it light and uh, it's quite comfortable right out of the packaging. It's not too stiff. It rides on my knuckles nice. A lot of these hard knuckle protectors are not always the most comfortable, but this one is pretty darn good. As you move to the back of the glove, like I said, you've got more of that bovine leather all the way to the cuff. I'd say this cuff is, it's still a short glove. It's not super short. Um, if anything, it's a little bit on the longer side, so they will be able to get stashed under the cuff of your jacket, which is a good thing. As we move over, I'm gonna show you this entryway here. This is just a little bit of Velcro, and that's gonna open up the cuff. There's no liner, of course. The whole idea of the Vortex Air is to get the airflow going in through all this mesh. So all the way across your thumb and, and back of your thumb there, you got more of that nylon mesh, a little bit of a foam protector and then we'll move over to the palm. <clears throat> so the palm is also dead animal, shall we say, but this is goat. Why do they use goat instead of just good old cow leather? Well, goat actually stretches a fair bit easier. So when it comes to the palm of the glove, not only does it stretch and break in faster and give you a better feel, but manufacturers are able to control the hide better and get you an even thinner cut if they wish, and really just dial in the feel on the handlebars there. Uh, goat. Leather also tends to keep the pricing down a little bit compared to that bovine leather. So that's why they've used the GOAT. And uh, you do have perforations in your fingers here. You notice this double stitch abrasion zone here. Uh, they got a little patch on the thumb too. That's gonna help in case you do put these gloves to the test. But this has also got a little bit of uh, 
a texture to it that's gonna help you hold on to the handlebars a bit better, especially on that throttle side. It'll reduce hand fatigue, which is a good thing. Now, if we roll this over, you're gonna see most of this protection uh, comes in in the carpal area here, protecting all those fragile bones in the palm of your hand. You get a nice big foam protector here with some th synthetic suede material that's all double stitched, and then one more down here by the wrist bone. They also have a pinky protector that runs the length of your pinky finger. Again, that pink fin pinky finger is always, always the vulnerable one in uh, a motorcycle accident, so they've given you some reinforcement in the material across there. This glove is touchscreen compatible. I would say I'd give it kind of a C plus in its touchscreen performance uh, in the index finger and thumb. It's a little clunky, but you'll be able to get your device open and answer a call. Beyond that, you probably have to take the glove off. One year warranty from Scorpion XO on the Vortex Air. Any other questions I failed to answer, don't worry, Rider Support is standing by at speedaddicts.com. That's right, you can talk to a human over there through the phone, email, and live chat, or just ask us your question, or let us know how you like these Vortex Air gloves in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.